She didn't even still be texting me like this. But it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's, it's a part of life. Like, you know. Hi, loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jamicia Javana. And today, y'all, we getting juicy. We getting really juicy, juicy, juicy. And I got a guest, a special guest here with me today. My favorite, favorite cousin. We actually uh, grew up together. So we know about each other's childhood trauma. Now, a lot of times people really don't want to talk about their childhood trauma. But at the end of the day... It happened. Yes. And then... Your childhood trauma does affect the way that you act as an adult. Mm -hmm. We have to be mature enough and to discuss it and just be open about it. And that way you can go past it, you can heal and then move forward. Or maybe if you have kids, it can help you with them too. Yeah, because sometimes you can pass on what you that's have been true. doing to your kids and then that's gonna cause your kids to, it's a cycle, generational mm -hmm. curses. We breaking all generational curses this year, okay? Okay. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, my voice is gone, so I, I will be sipping on some tea today <laughs> because I sound like a whole man. Not to me, but... A whole man. She's extra. Honestly, I've never done a video like this before, so I really don't know where to be at. <laughs> so let's just go, just let's dive into, um, how we are some kin. I mean, we, we know we're cousins, but mm -hmm. like, you know, let's just dive into it and then like how we, um, grew up. Well, yeah. So she's actually younger than me. Yeah. And um my mom and her mom are sisters. Favorite sisters. Yeah. <laughs> so let, let me throw that out there, favorite <laughs> sisters. We both grew up in Alabama. And let me okay, so as a child, I can say that I was very much angry. We're completely the opposites now, but Yes, like, oh that is so crazy. Yeah. Yes. So as a child, I was pretty much <laughs> angry very much more like wanted to fight everybody wanted to just you know anything you can think about when it comes to anger or just frustration she got put out of school all in i got expelled out of so out many school. schools i got expelled so many schools if you guys want to hear a story time about how i got expelled out of so many schools you would not believe <laughs> that this person is was that person you would, yes you yes would because i've i've healed and i'm still healing but she on the other hand i know she was so, so quiet, like a mouse. <laughs> like quiet, she wasn't in nobody business. Like, she was a girly you. girl. Yeah. Like, you know, she wanna dress really pretty and just, I mean, she still dressed very pretty, but I'm saying like, she was very like prissy, like, yeah. oh, like, no, you know, don't You can't pay me to fight either. Yeah, she wasn't fighting, none of that, none of that. <laughs> now, hood. Like I said, complete opposite. <laughs> She hood. Okay. But I've been through a lot. That brings me back to childhood trauma. Mm -hmm. That's true. I feel like as a kid, since she was like so quiet and then like you had the environment that you had, it's kind of like it made you resent it when you got older. Mm -hmm. And then it changed her from being like a good girl to like, she's crazy. Okay, let's just say that. She's crazy. <laughs> My biological dad, he is in jail. Mine too. Well, no, he just got out, but he, yeah. So like, yeah. So, but your, but your dad was in jail when you was younger, right? So, a lot. yeah. So, I don't know how I'm here. Yeah, exactly. So like, my dad, he was in jail. He got in jail when I was in second grade, and that was the last time I seen him until I became an adult. I have a stepdad, and my stepdad is has kids. And I don't know if you guys know, but if you have step a step parent. Some of them are like this, the majority of them are like this. Um, my stepdad has kids, so I felt like my stepdad favored my um, stepbrothers and sisters way more than he did for us. So like he would do more things for them. He would let them get away with stuff. Like it got to the point where when we were younger, we knew what was going on, so we would use them. And I'm sorry to say it like that, but we would say, okay, hey, go ask them for this. Cause we know that we know he gonna say yes when y'all ask, but if we ask, he gonna say no. So we used to, that's how we got the things that we want to do. Like if we want to go outside or if you wanted to eat certain stuff, whatever, we say, hey, y'all go ask. And I don't feel like it should be that way. You should, yeah. You should look at yourself trying to like look at your biological kids. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I feel like for anybody out there that's going to be a step parent, you guys have to realize that you have to treat them as if they're, they're, they are your kids. And my thing is, this, if you're going to discipline them, you should be able to love them just as, mm -hmm. you know, just as well. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like that is a tremendous part of your childhood. And I feel like just that made me resent him so much. Like mm -hmm. I 
our relationship is not good at all. So but also other things too. Yeah, of course, other things. So we'll get into that. But that's one of the biggest thing. Well, not the biggest, but that's one of the things that I remember from my childhood that stood out to me. What about you? Well, I went through real bad child abuse. That's what stood out to me. Um, my mama, um, and dad, they were into, into it. Like, which ain't, which ain't really got nothing to do with me, that part right there. But I did have really bad child abuse. But for real, them getting into it, too, um, affected me. Yeah, um, for sure. Well. It affected my decision-making on picking out men as well, too. Yeah. Um, I've only had, like, one real boyfriend in life. Yeah. But we, we went through some shit. <laughs> right. We went through shit, uh, too. Like I said, I went through really bad childhood. It's like I almost died. No, it was bad. It was real bad. I and it's like our died. parents, my parents, they used to beat us, but not like the way that my auntie would beat yeah, her. Yeah, I literally almost died. Yeah, it was it's insane. And I, I actually, like, when I got older, I asked my mom, I was like, why y'all never call the police on my auntie? Yeah. Like, you know, because that's child abuse or whatever. Um, of course, like, my parents was like, well, I never seen it. So I can't that's really true. say. But, um, she, she hit it well. Yeah. I mean, one day I came, she had just whooped, she whooped me so bad one day. And um, my aunt, her mom, uh, actually came and got us. And she was like, what's wrong with you? I wasn't even crying or nothing. I just got yeah. in the car and she could just tell, like, what the fuck, like, what's going on with you? I just wasted like crying. How did everything been on my back? That's why I told her. It was so fucking sad. So no. she got two younger brothers that was staying in the house with them. She will be responsible for everything. Washing the dishes, washing clothes. Cousin staying with us too. And my yeah. mom, I oh. feel like she treated the whole way, but I really do. Even though she went. Her child, she pushed out. I really feel she didn't get half. Like she got whippings, but it wasn't it wasn't like then like like mine. Like, yeah, it, that's it that favoritism it. thing again. Yeah, it, it wasn't then like mine. And that one knew her damn biological child. Yeah. I don't know what it was. But like I said, she did me really wrong growing up. She was good, yeah. and I'm 27. I'm still upset about it. I can't even lie to you. Yeah. Because it, it was that bad. If you knew some of the stories, like just tell one one story well, that this you... is my my major one. I'm gonna say yeah. I when I almost died. Like I literally almost died. My um cousin. <laughs> that me? Actually, no, the girl who's staying with us are my cousin, oh, and yeah. I don't even fool with her. Oh, I'm gonna black their name out. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna be no name. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no name. But uh, my cousin, cause I don't give a fuck. But my cu my cousin was staying with us, and um, we had a shirt. Then what about that shirt? I don't know who yes, was. I remember that. But it was it, we had shirts, and she pissed me off. And so I lied to her and said I bleached her shirt. That's why I lied. She goes in there and tells my mom that I, that I did it. So when she said it, I don't know why my dumb ass got mad, but I got mad and I lit, I actually bleached it. When she told on me, I actually, why I do that? Why I do that? My mama whooped my ass all up and like beat me all up and through the house. I don't know if y'all ever hear that, seen the little um, rinser thing that you rinse out. You wish your hair out with, but you connect to your same. Oh, mm -hmm. And then it, it comes out. She choked me with the cord. Like she she choked like the little thing. Like I said, it was like yeah. a rubber cord. It was thick. It was a white thick cord. I would never remember. I remember the color and everything. I would never remember it. She choked me out till I fainted. Like like I literally almost died. And she woke me up by saying, You ain't dead yet, bitch. That's how she woke me up. Like she she woke me up. He ain't still beating me. Wow. You ain't dead yet, bitch. Still beating my ass like y'all. I was, it was so traumatizing. I was not playing a prank. Oh. <laughs> oh, but but it's sad though. Oh. But yeah. So I love that you. was my best, my, my worst experience. Um, uh, <laughs> I really wasn't playing on crying. I seriously let me, wasn't. Let me get tissue. It shouldn't even still be affecting me like this. But it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's, it's a part of life. Like, you know. I was not playing on crying at all. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that happened. And um, she went to Bible study the same night. My stepdad came and got her, and she went to Bible study like it was nothing. She still came home from Bible study. She even booked me when she came back from Bible study, but she was still uh, pissed. And my cousin, I'm so sorry. And that's another reason why I don't want to fool her. Yeah. Because you lied on me, first of all. But my thing is this, it's like, well, for me, I feel like if you know, because even as a kid, you understand this, that someone's getting beat like that. Yeah. 
I would not tell on them. Like, I just, I don't know. I feel like that's for maybe the person that I am. Like, I would not tell on them if I know they're going to get beat. Like, I, I would not like to see nobody get, like, beat like that. Especially no. if you've experienced it. Not, like, as bad as you, but just no. an experience from her in general. Right. It's like, why would you go and say that? But like, that's sad. That's, that's just that's one sad. of the experiences. <laughs> one of the experiences. Yeah, like, just imagine, that like, that, something like that being a constant All thing. All the time. You know? Right. Oh, cousin. So it was. She's not stupid, but yeah, it was. So it was. Sad. It was really messed up. And my cousin, like, oh my god, I'm sorry. I didn't like. She she kept like even she knew that, that she it was had messed up. up. Like yeah. that was messed up. And after after she was washed out the tub, actually, when it when it was going on, and when I woke up, I could just see her staring at me like, damn. She just whooped your ass. Like, she just beat the fuck out of you. And, um, like I said, she just kept on telling me she was sorry. But who the fuck wanted to hear that? Yeah. Like, girl, fuck you and my mama at this point. Like, right. seriously. Um, but yeah, that's like, like I said, that's one of the, that's like my worst experience with my mama growing up. But like I said, she whooped me. I'm bald head on time. Yeah. Actually. Like, because of a, that, because of this experience. is traumatic, traumatic, y'all. It's not, this is not a joke. Like, we yeah. not, like, we not getting on here to make to make our parents look bad or anything like that because I'm sh I know stories from my parents past from their great grandmother and how they used to get treated when they were younger but it doesn't make what we experience any less you know right. so it's like at the end of the day we still experienced it mm -hmm. because like I mean my parents they did not like my mom she didn't beat me like that but she did she did like with me with eccentric cords mm -hmm. with belts anything she put her hands on really not like a skillet or something but like extension cords or like one day I had to go to school like this was like middle school and I don't even remember and this is the crazy part I don't even be remembering like why I got in trouble I just remember remembering like the after effect like she right. had hit me in the eye with the broomstick and I had a bit like when I went to bed it was swollen and I was just like oh my god I know she gonna make me go to school like my the way our parents were they want you to be embarrassed. They're like they, it's like they beat you, mm -hmm. and then they want you to be embarrassed. They want everybody else to know that or, like something happened to you. Like why? Stupid. Like, so my mom was like, "Oh, you going to school tomorrow?" And so I had uh, it ended up like healing a little bit until it had like a little knot on my eye. So I just went and told everybody it was a sty. Like, cause everybody was thinking like, "Oh, you got a sty." I'm getting beat on by our fucking husband or some shit. Yeah. Right? That's some shit you say when you getting whooped by your man. You know, by your man. Yeah, trying to make an excuse yeah, for that like, person. That's crazy. Yeah. So I mean, either either one of them are not. Yeah, it's sad. You know, I'm just right, saying, but, but for us to be so young, I was nine when that happened. When that little uh, situation happened, I yeah. was nine. I was in elementary school, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember one um, time, like. I was in fifth grade and I literally tried to commit suicide. Like, I don't even know if I told you this before. Yeah. So I tried to commit suicide when I was, um, and this is a, I know this could be like a heavy topic, but yeah. for people, but if you want to commit suicide, please reach out for help. So I tried to commit suicide when I was like fifth, in fifth grade. So I don't know, back in the day, they used to have these little poles that goes like this, like a T shape, and you use a clothes, like the clothes hanger to hang up your clothes. Like it was a T shape here and a T shape there, mm -hmm. and you put the like, you know, to hang your clothes up. Mm -hmm. So I was short, so I'm in fifth grade. So I tried to use a clothes hanger. I hung it up on the thing and I tried to like fall. Yeah, I never knew that thing. Yeah, but it wasn't working. It wasn't working. And so I found out this is this is one of the most I've, I've healed from this, but um, y'all, I'm gonna tell you how I healed through this. A lot of therapy, because <laughs> I used to cry like a lot, a lot, you know. But um, I actually had a conversation with my parents about it or whatever. And it come to find out, like, I just found this out last year that they saw me trying to do it. They was watching me out the mirror, I mean, out the window. And my stepdad was actually laughing because he was like, um, they told you that? yeah, he told me he was laughing there. Brandon was there. He was still laughing. Like, he still will laugh about it to this day. Like, that's how, that's how. Messed up, like, in the head he is. Right, because why is that funny? <clears throat> yeah, he was like, I saw that you were, you know, I saw you trying to do it. I was like, but why are you laughing? He's like, because it was never going to happen. Like, you was never going to be able to cure yourself. I said, but you should have been trying to figure out why. Right. And what if, what, that should have gave you a sign, like, okay, if she trying to do this, there's no, no telling what else she used to do. Because mm -hmm. I used to be a cutter. Oh, yeah, I know that, yeah. In middle school, I used to be a cutter. I used to cut my wrist mm -hmm. a lot. I used to go to the washing machine in the, in the laundry room. I used to cut my wrist. Like one of my cousins caught me one time. She told, 
she told my mom that I was doing it. And my mom said, she was like, oh, you want to die? Oh, you want to kill yourself? All right. Why are you doing it the long way? So she gave me, she put the knife out. She said, here, if you want to do it, do it right now. If you want to kill yourself, do it right now. Kill yourself right now. And I'm sitting here like, wow, like. This thing trying to figure out what the issue is. You're, you're pushing like, me to do it. Yeah, and I'm sitting here like, so you just pretty much telling me that you don't care mm -hmm. about me. That's what you're telling me. Like, if I die, you don't care. Right. And in my head, as a kid, I'm like, okay, if I die, they're going to care about me. But I'm going to yeah. be dead. Like, who they going to care about? You know, right. like, eventually they're going to get over it. Right. I feel like our <laughs> colored people, <laughs> like some of us, like we are just so harsh on our kids and we don't think about the mental state that it puts kids in. And it, it is very much traumatizing. And it's stuff that we're gonna remember. Like I, talk to, I try to talk to my parents about a lot of this stuff and my mom said she doesn't remember it. My mom she said it didn't happen. We, we, we talked one day and that's how shit irritates me. You know what? I'm like, you know what? Conversation over. Because how how are you gonna sit up here and say that that didn't happen? I was sit up here and tell that same story I just told y'all, and she like that didn't happen. Because I know one day I had told my mom used to really like abuse right. me, like used to do that. That didn't happen. That's what she said. Conversation over. So yeah, pretty much she was just like telling me, if you gonna do it, do it right. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. And so after that, I was still cutting, but just not that much because I realized I was like okay, they just don't care about me. Like, so at this point, I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care if I get in trouble for it. Yeah. Whatever makes me happy. If I feel like fighting somebody, I'm gonna fight somebody. If I feel like, that's when I like, became real, real angry. Mm -hmm. Like after that, like, because I was very, very smart. Like I was in like, you know, mm -hmm. magnet schools, like gifted programs, but I kept getting kicked out. You're still smart, baby. <laughs> Thank you. I ended up um, dropping out like a dumbass. Like, the, the, the life that I had planned for me <laughs> is not what is not what happened. Like, I have yeah. five kids now, and I like went on the way. This was not in the plan. It's not saying that I regret my children, but this was not yeah. in the plan. What you were saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes I see um my uh, her, my mama, yeah. uh, when I'm chastising my children or uh, talking to them. My mama really like, just never talked to me fucked up. She really never did. But her, 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 like I said, her hitting on me and beating on me and stuff like yeah. that. I definitely see see some of her inside of me sometimes. And like I said, I, I don't want my children to grow up feeling about me how I felt about her. Right. So I've been wanting to, uh, and that's why I be like my children are young. I've been wanting to put, put them in therapy and all that. Cause like I said, I don't want them to feel how I felt about her. Cause I hated her at, 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 at certain points mm -hmm. and like like I hated her. Like I seriously, like, I want her to go. Yeah. Well, I wanted me to go. Or they're like, both of them. Somebody needs to go. Somebody, yeah. <laughs> One point, it did stop with me. I think around like 16 or 17. Because I started standing up. I ain't going to say yeah, fight back. Yeah, but you never start. swing on her. But, but I did start standing up her like, bitch, no. Yeah. You're, you're not going to be doing this to me. Like, you're not. I think that's almost how it happened with us, too. Like, for me, I was just told my mom, I said, listen, if you're going to let me do this, I'm going to do it anyways. Because you're barely home. Like, mm -hmm. I had to have a conversation with her and let her know. It was like, you're never home. Um, I'm trying to be a you know better, but you still trying to be so strict on me. Mm -hmm. And if you if you, I'm just giving you a heads up. <laughs> that and it's gonna happen. That too. Being too strict on people will cause rebellion. Yes, like it really yes. did, it really will. I started having sex a little too early. My mom was never at home. She was at work, yeah. but she was never at home. That's how I met my uh, kids dad. Yeah, he started coming over. I lost my virginity. Like all of this was yeah. happening while she was gone. Like it was a lot. Mm -hmm. I started smoking in seventh grade. I started smoking marijuana in seventh grade. Yeah. I'm not completely the person that I want to be. I know I'm not. You know? It's like because I still see myself catching attitudes every now and then, but it's like for the littlest stuff. Like, I, I mean, it's not, nowhere near. Like, I would get so mad that I would be throwing stuff, I'd be breaking stuff. Like, I'm not that person no more, but I feel like <sighs> it's just, I still have a ways to go. You know, nobody's perfect, so you're gonna always be growing and learning and, and stuff like that. But just to be where I wanna be with myself and to be to be at peace with what, who I am, then that's 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 what I'm working for. That's all I'm looking for too at this point. It, it's peace, it's stability. Mm -hmm. And I don't have um, neither. I'm, like I said, I'm working on it, but that's, that's all I want at, at this point is peace. Yeah. And that's why I ended up um, breaking up with my kids' dad because I'm not gonna keep it. I'm 27. 
Shout out to you, Ma. Because she's been doing it for a while, but I'm not going to keep on yeah. doing it. I'm, I'm just and not. that's another thing, too. Like, if you, if you are having issues with your relationship as parents like my mom she allowed my my stepdad to cheat on her like all the time constantly constantly like even like having like some of his mistresses in the house act like they're our nannies or like they are babysitting us or something like that and like she just been delusional or she didn't want to accept the truth Mm -hmm. that for me i don't say like it brought like a bad connotation on my relationship but I tell him so much. You cheat on me, that's it. Like I, right. I, I don't, I don't want to know what, why. I don't know with who. I don't want nothing about it. If it's if you cheat on me, that's it. I'm done. In the beginning of our relationship, because we've I've been in a relationship for about six years now, I had trust issues so bad, y'all, so bad. Like I wanted to look at his phone. I want like because I'm always thinking like you know it's a possibility that mm-hmm. you know this man is cheating on me that he don't want to be with me. So that's a big thing that can to, can mess up or traumatize mm-hmm. your child as an adult. They can bring that into their relationship moving forward. I was gonna say, I, I didn't stick around after um, he cheated because I did. I've cheated too, though. So I can't really just put everything on him because I've cheated too. But like I said, I'm not gonna keep on doing it. Like, I'm, I'm just not. That's why I said But even with that, place. though, even with that, your mom was still with her, her still partner. Still is. Yeah, she's still with her partner who cheated on her. So it's kind of like it's trickled down a little yeah. bit. Like my parents, they used to move people in all the time. All the yeah. time. Our house, pastor, step dad, pastor. Our, our house used to be so packed. Speaking of pastoring, we stayed with wait, wait. Kids. Speaking of pastoring, though, he would put the church before his kids. Let's not get on the the food, y'all. My parents, they did not like to feed us. I don't care what nobody say. I'm so dumb. They did not like to. <laughs> Look, just... we could eat cheese. We could like they like we. It'll be there, but it'll be like they buy them. They buy themselves the good stuff, and we have to eat hot dogs or we have to eat Popeyes. Yeah. But it's like not like Popeyes chicken, baby. The Popeye, the yeah. Popeye. Right, chicken Popeye, bitch. What what her name? Michelina. That bitch, like you go, like, girl. Stuff, I bitch. hate chicken pot pie. <laughs> I used to stuff it in my mouth and go to the bathroom and spit it out. I would go to bed hungry sometimes, and then don't tell them that you don't like what they cooking. Girl, I was there for an incident. <laughs> yeah, <Yo, hoes>. right. <laughs> my my mom so was so upset. mad. She was so mad. <laughs> Y'all ain't gotta eat my leftovers. Right. I'm like. Pissed. I was there for one of those incidents. Girl, go to bed. Go to bed hungry. She was spit. <laughs> she was spit. Well, I, well, I didn't go through that because I, I went to the refrigerator as I as Well, I your played. mama, she, 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 I feel like her mom would feel bad after, like, beating her. She would. And then she would feed them. Like, she would. <laughs> Or did she know? Or like, she would buy shit. them. I was just gonna say that she knows yeah. certain shit that I like. Like I said, it was like a marriage because when my mom went to uh, it was manipulation. Yeah, well, yeah. And then turn around and be like, "Well, you want this? Or you want to go out? You know? Or do you want to do this? That's just not healthy. You can't. You, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. And like I said, I'm 27. I'm still upset about it. So yeah. whatever you did for me, girl, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm still mad. Right. A but ain't like my parents didn't have money. My parents had money. Yeah. They just chose not to give us stuff. Like, we didn't get gifts like y'all. We only got gifts on Christmas. We didn't mm-hmm. have no birthday parties. Her mom was through birthday parties. Mm-hmm. We didn't have no birthday parties, nothing. Like, we just get uh, some gifts for Christmas, and that's it. And anything that we're doing, like, going out or traveling, it'd be with the church. Like, mm-hmm. we have to go travel with the church. Okay. Yeah, it's because the way that black people is in general let's be honest mm-hmm. they're like what goes on in my house stays in my house Girl, mom, don't tell my it. business don't do this don't do that sorry y'all the camera cut off <laughs> but it's just a sign that we need to practice up because this probably gonna be like 30 minutes <laughs> but anyways it's um interesting though. yeah it is interesting and i don't know and it's real life so it's not like i said um we just we just want to tell y'all what we've been through um, just to relate to y'all, let y'all know that, you know, our life is not perfect. My life is not perfect. You know, we're still learning. We're still growing as a person. And, uh, shh, shh, shh. It's a baby, y'all. Y'all gotta just get out the keys. Sorry, I told you I got five kids. I'm sorry. But, um, we wanted to end the video right now. Um, and just to let people know that 
you know, you can share your story. And what did you want to say? Oh, you, don't bottle up your um emotions. Yeah. Don't be bottling up anything that's happening. It's okay to talk you. about it. Yeah, it's um, okay to talk about. It. It's okay to go to therapy because I know like people don't like to go to therapy. Go to therapy, talk about it, but find a good therapist because not all therapists are good. I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you guys tuned into this video. If you like more conversations like this, don't hesitate to leave a comment down in the section below. If you are not subscribed to my channel, child. What are you doing? What are you doing? Exactly. What are you doing? Subscribe and baby, hit the like button while you edit. Hey, 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 like while you edit. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.